everybody! Do you like a corn? Yes, you do? Then let's high five! I love corn. I love this corn by itself. I love the flavor and texture. And any dishes made with corn, that's already my favorite. Today, I'm going to make Korean old fashioned corn bread. Corn bread is called oksusu pang. Oksusu is corn, pang is bread. When I was at elementary school, my school used to give us a snack every day for each student. We used to have a piece of this corn bread, like sizes like this, and then the oval shape and over top like a, a little like a mountain. And this kind of bread was very special for me and delicious. This corn bread is made from corn meal. You know, I really miss miss that bread taste. All the time I was looking forward to the time that you know the snack is provided. The corn bread I remember is not very sweet. Old fashioned stone ground yellow corn meal. I'm not working for this brand name, but any type of yellow corn I'm using, if you find the stone ground yellow corn meal, and then buy this. So I'm going to measure two cups. You guys remember this, my, uh, my tablespoon, teaspoons. So I just got this new one because this is really years and years I've been using. It's kind of really worn out. Sometimes like really wobbly. And then I got this same, exactly same amount. I just scooped water, this one. So uh, American standard, like a tablespoon, teaspoons I'm using. Two tablespoons sugar. Salt, half a teaspoon. One egg, one tablespoon vegetable oil. Any cooking oil you can use, corn oil, vegetable oil. You could use any type of milk, whole milk, fat reduced milk, any type of milk. I will use one and a half cup. Let's just mix this. Beautiful color, yellow color. Already smells really corn smells. Consistency is like this. I need to let it sit this for 20 minutes. I'm soaking my corn meal, kind of make it softer. I got this idea from uh, making rice cake. You know, so whenever I make rice cake, I need to soak rice in cold water, and then. Uh, later, when it's cooked, it's more fluffy and softer. Especially, we don't use wheat flour here, anything. Just only cornmeal I'm using because I love intense kind of flavor. And this baking powder, I'm going to add this just before baking to make it fluffy. Now, I'm preheating my oven 400 Fahrenheit. And then, let's just use butter. We need just a little bit butter flavor and really makes it better. So I'm going to use one tablespoon. Okay, so I just put it this at room temperature, so easily, very soft. Using your brush, all over on the bottom, just a little bit side also. Okay, 20 minutes passed. And then see, so look really separated, right? And then liquid. On top, you just mix this. And then we are going to add baking powder. Two teaspoons. And then mix. When you mix this with baking powder, this baking powder is helping, like creates little airy bubbles. So it makes this dough really fluffy. So right after mix this, we need to bake. Consistency is a little thicker than before. Don't you think so? Like this, 
You see there are little already bubbles. And yes. It takes 30 to 40 minutes depending on your size of a baking pan. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare my breakfast. Today is a Saturday, so Saturday brunch I will just make and then I'm going to eat with my freshly baked cornbread. It will be so delicious. This is Greek yogurt. And tomato, I will eat all this tomato. These days, strawberries are available all around the year. So I will add here. Let's add some kiwi too. Golden kiwi, golden color. And blueberry. There you go. My yogurt is done. So I will just keep in the refrigerator. Okay, 30 minutes passed. And let's check out. And I'm making coffee too. It's the middle, I like to take this. It's come clean. But I like to make it a little brown. I'm going to bake just a few minutes more. This is too big and too big and thick. And then I just uh, poke this huge hole I made this. So at home, you can use that your toothpick. Very good. Wow, beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Great, oh my, smells so good. Wow, look at this. <laughs> isn't it pretty? Just let it cool down just a few minutes and then I'm going to cut it and eat my breakfast. This one I made uh, last night. This is uh, like a heart shape. So you can make uh, any shape, right? If you have a baking pan. Isn't it cool? See? Sponge like. Join me for breakfast. And my coffee. So this is breakfast. Let's taste. Mmm. 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 That's it. This is the cornbread that I remember when I was in elementary school. I tasted this kind of you know, bread. Soft, fluffy, corny. <laughs> A little sweet, not too sweet. Last of last of corn. No flour here. My left hand, my cornbread. Right hand, my yogurt. Busy, busy. Mm. This one, last night I made this. <laughs> you can make any shape. Heart, heart, my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's going to be a good present for Valentine's Day, isn't it? Today, we made Korean old-fashioned oksu bang, cornbread, Korean style. In America, so cornbread is very popular. So, I, this is my style, Korean kind of old-fashioned you know, style. And how about the, your style? Just let me know. So, enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye!